evaluate the integral from 0 to 1 of uh, 4x over the product of x plus 1 times x squared plus 1. We recognize it as a rational function. If we can decompose it into simpler fractions that we can separately integrate, that would be uh, desirable. We have to use partial fraction decomposition. So we attack this algebraically. We take the original fraction, which is already simplified, and we kind of have to unsimplify it. We have to find out before this was put together in one fraction, what were the two separate fractions that had each term or the denominator as part of as their denominator? Um, and it's our job to find the coefficients of uh, in the numerator that makes that make it work out. If you have a linear factor, then the numerator is a constant. But when you have an irreducible quadratic, the numerator is linear. Bx plus C in this case. And it's hard to have to chase down and figure out what A, B, and C are before we even start the calculus of finding the antiderivative. And so the combined numerator should be the same as if we were to put these two fractions on the right-hand side together by multiplying by the other part of the denominator that it's missing. So A gets multiplied by X squared plus 1 and bx plus c gets multiplied by x plus 1. This is true for all x. And so if we let x equal negative 1, we'll get the value of a. And then we can pick other values of x to find out um, this is true for all x. So let's let x equal negative 1. That means negative 4 is equal to uh, twice a, because this whole term goes away when we plug in a negative 1. It gives me a 0. And so that means that a immediately is negative 2. Great. Now we get to pick other values of x. And knowing the fact that a is negative 2, let's try x equals 0. Let's always go. It'll give us 0 is a. And the b part will go away. And actually, it'd be a plus c is 0. So a is the opposite. Uh, c is the opposite of a. And if a is negative 2, then c is 2. Great. Finally, we could choose any other value. Let's say the simplest thing to plug in would be x equals 1. And so if x is 1, we'd have 4 equals 2a and then we'd have uh, b plus c times 2. But we know that a and b, uh, a and c, are negative 2 and 2 respectively. So 4 is negative 4 plus twice uh, b plus 2. We can backtrack and figure out what b is. It says that 8 is twice b plus 2, or that b plus 2 is 4. So B is also 2. OK, great. So we have our constants. And so this original fraction then decomposes into two separate fractions, where we have negative 2 over x plus 1 and 2x plus 2 over x squared plus 1. Great. In fact, we'll go one step further and break it into three fractions. Because we're not immediately able to find the antiderivative of 2x plus 2 over x squared plus 1. And so, we have a negative 2 
over x plus 1, a 2x over x squared plus 1, and a 2 over x squared plus 1. And then we need to find an antiderivative to each one of these separately. Um, both the first and the last one, we can immediately find. What function has negative 2 over x plus 1 as its derivative? It's negative 2, the natural log of x plus 1. What function has 2 over x squared plus 1 as its derivative? It's 2 times the arctan of 1. I mean, arctan of x, sorry. But this guy here is an immediate. We don't know that one right away. But with the u substitution, we're able to get it. If we let u be the denominator, x squared plus 1, then du is 2x. That's convenient that it was a 2. So we're looking at 1 over u du. So it's a natural log of u. Let's go to another page. Negative 2, the natural log of x plus 1, plus the natural log of x squared plus 1, plus 2, the arctan of x. And all of this is evaluated from 0 to 1. put a 1 in, we get negative 2, the natural log of 2, plus the natural log of 2, plus the arctan of 1. Put a 0 in, we get natural log of 1's. Those are zeros. And then the arctan of 0. Also 0, conveniently. Okay. 2 natural log 2 plus the natural log 2, those can combine, combine them like x is 2, negative 2x two plus a 2x is a negative x. So we have negative the natural log of 2. And the arctan of 1, what angle? When you plug it into tangent 2, you get a 1 out. And the angle has to be between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. That's our friend, pi over 4. So the answer to the question is pi over 4. minus the natural log of 2.